Hello and welcome to MedCran. Today we are going to discuss on the introduction to medical genetics where we shall cover chromosomal disorders, single gene disorders and polygenic diseases. Genetics in general is concerned with variation and heredity in all living things. And human genetics is the science of variation and heredity in humans. And when we say medical genetics, we mean a human genetic variation that is of significance in medical practice and research. In this presentation, we shall look at the introduction bit of it, the patterns of single gene inheritance, genetic variations in individuals and populations. We look at a little bit of gene mapping and principles of clinical cytogenetics and disorders of autosomes and sex chromosomes and treatment of genetic diseases. So we need to understand some of the terms that we use in genetics and some of them are like cytogenetics which is the study of chromosomes. We have genomics which is the study of genome, its organization and functions. Then we have population genetics. Population genetics is a genetic variation in human populations and factors which affect allele frequencies. Then clinical genetics is an application of genetics to the diagnosis and treatment in genetic diseases. We have genetic counseling, which is a risk information, psychological and educational support to patients and or their families. And then what we have what's known as a genotype. A genotype is a genetic constitution of an organism and a phenotype is the observable expression of this genotype. We also have what's known as a locus, meaning a chromosomal location an allele, an allele is an alternative form of the same locus. We have a mutation, which is a change in the genetic material, and these mutations are usually rare and pathological in nature. We have polymorphism, which is a, gene, which is a change in the genetic material that is not necessarily pathological. We also have homozygote and heterozygotes and hemizygote. And homozygote means an organism with two identical alleles and heterozygote is an organism with two different alleles. A hemizygote is an instance of having only one copy of a gene. Males are hemizygous in most of the genes on the sex chromosomes. And we also have something that's known as dominant or recessive traits. A dominant trait is a trait that shows in heterozygotes and a recessive trait is a trait that is hidden in heterozygotes. Why is a family history important in genetics? A family history can be critical in the diagnosis of genetic problems or diseases. It can provide information about the natural history of the disease and the variation in its expression. Also, a good family history on genetic illnesses can clarify the pattern of inheritance. A diagnosis of a hereditary condition allows a risk estimation in other family members so that a proper management, prevention, and counseling can be offered to the patient and their families. In genetics, one of the commonest questions we ask ourselves is what the roles of genes in human disease? Most diseases or phenotypes result from interaction between the genes and the environment. And some of these diseases are primarily genetically determined, for example, a chondroplasia, and other phenotypes or diseases require genetic and environmental factors interaction for them to lead to disease. Mental retardation in persons with phenylketonuria is also genetically enhanced and some phenotypes result in primarily from the environment or by chance. And then we have major types of genetic diseases which we can classify them into three main parts that is chromosomal disorders, single gene disorders and polygenic diseases. With chromosomal disorders, we have addition or deletion of entire chromosomes or parts of this chromosome. We can also have a rearrangement of chromosomal segments and typically more than one gene is involved. 
A classic example of chromosomal disorders is Down syndrome or trisomy 21, where we have a triplication of the gene number 21. And then we have single gene disorders, where a single mutant gene has a large effect on the patient. Most of these single gene disorders are transmitted in a Mendelian fashion. We have autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, X-linked, and Y-linked disorders. An example of autosomal dominant disorder is osteogenesis imperfecta. And an example of autosomal recessive condition is sickle cell anemia. And an X-linked condition is like hemophilia. On this right side of this slide, we have an autosomal dominant pedigree that highlights on how and the probabilities of developing these single gene disorders. Then we move to polygenic diseases. These are the most common yet still the least understood form of human genetic diseases and they result from an interaction of multiple genes, each with a minor effect on the general presentation. The susceptibility arrays are common, and an example of a polygenic disease is diabetes mellitus type 1 and 2. We have multiple sclerosis and autism disorders. And then we have human genome sequencing, or gene sequencing. An identification of diseases and their disease genes has been revolutionized by sequencing of human genomes. And by this one, we mean we have almost 3.3 billion base pairs of genes with a gene prediction of about 25,000. And this can be an underestimation because we have regulatory ribonucleic acids doing this type of correction. And this sequence is available in public databases and is freely available and continuously being modified and updated. You can also uh, get access to it by going to a website known as www.ensemble.org where you can be able to run a search, for example, let's search for FRZB and once we search this one, it will give us a match on the database and in that one, we have a breakdown from the gene FRZB we have a gene ensemble ID then we have the genomic location, description, and a prediction method with also a transcript being presented downwards. So, for example, in the FRZB, we'll find a, an answer that the FRZB is located on the chromosome number 2 at this particular location. And uh, when we look at its transcript sequence, we are able also to uh, project it here and also on the two common amino acid substitutions that occur are also identified. Maybe make a try and have a look at this uh, database for your knowledge as we continue with the next presentation in the next slide.